Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, your host, broadcasting li live from Los Angeles. Uh, today, topic is going to be about the collective consciousness. We collectively as human beings having a tendency to fall asleep. It's uh, very easy when things are going well, excuse me, <coughs> and we're not being challenged, we fall asleep into this comfort zone and we start to take everything for granted as everything's always gonna be fine and dandy as long as I get whatever I want and I'm not challenged. But that's not how life is. And, and that's not how growth comes. Uh, quite often for us to go to a higher level of consciousness and to expand and to awaken, let's use this word, we need to be challenged. So somehow the rug needs to be pulled from under our feet. Uh, otherwise, we have a tendency to just fall asleep and become a robot and just be robotic with everything we do and keep repeating the same pattern without any awareness of it. Uh, falling into the same emotions and same reactions uh, without being paying attention to it because everything is fine and we're getting whatever we want and uh, there's no need to question anything. And uh, But when something happens, let's say you're challenged by a health issue, uh, you lose someone, you're financially challenged, uh, you're emotionally challenged, your relationship is rocky. Um, and there's a number of different kinds of things that can happen in life is when we kind of like get shocked. So shock treatment, in fact, it's essential in our spiritual growth to be shocked, to wake up from the sleepy patterns. And so what is going on around the world is the collective, collectively majority of the uh, people on the planet they're in this collective unconsciousness. And what happens is they're looking for comfort. They're looking for uh, the lives to be better on the other, outside. So, and when you are, don't know about meditation, you haven't worked on yourself, you're not aware of self awakening you're not aware of uh self expansion and you have this sense of separation that you experience and everyone around you is fortifying this sense that you're separated so the collective is really glued to what is going on in the outer world. And so they're relying on the media. And what the media does is basically, media news sell based on emotions. So if there's strong emotions, then the new news become uh, valuable. And of course it's, a lot of it is based on fear and anxiety. So, and they're not even maybe aware of it. People who are running the show with the news media, it's basically, uh, how could they just get your attention and sell the news? 
and the advertisements and everything. And that's got to be on drama. And that's how it works, or creating strong emotions in you. So when you're unconscious and you're not aware, what happens is you fall into it and you really buy it. You're really glued to it. And what it does is starts creating more anxiety, more fear, more uncertainties in you. So it just kind of spirals down, you know? And so you may not be glued to the TV or the news, but maybe your partner does. And all they do is they're sitting in front of TV or the computer and they're listening to podcasts or listening to CNN or different kind of BBC or whatever channels and just being fed off of the news. And it's very addictive. And so what happens is, is like your emotional body gets addicted to the stuff and it's like sugar or uh, sugar products or caffeine so you may not be aware of it but then you get addicted to it and so you need you want more because that's what feeds the parasites inside your body so so you're craving, craving more of it. So what happens is we're not just dealing with a, a physical virus, a global virus, that the pandemic, we're also starts to contracting a mental virus and uh, which is far worse than the physical virus. And that's what's happening right now around the world is that majority of people on the planet, because they're not self-aware and they don't do meditation, they don't work on themselves and they're, they're deriving information and from the other world and they're projecting their happiness and their well-being on the other world events. So if things in the world go well, they imagine that they're doing all right. And when things in the other world doesn't go well, they are very, very much affected by it. So, and start reacting. And we can see what's going on right now. So you want to be very aware not to fall into this trap because it's a huge trap and it can really spiral and drag you down into this abyss, into this dark place that you will feel really helpless and lonely and, and uh, as if the world, your life is going to come to an end. You have to be aware of it. This is a time to be sharp and not fall, not becoming a robot and doing this robotic stuff. Whatever that is, be alert of everything and especially yourself. Be an observer of yourself. Watch your behavior. Watch your reactions, how you react, how you're emotionally reacting to things, especially stimulation from the outside, the news, people around you. So, because you're the one who's working on yourself, you're the spiritual warrior, you are the healer, 